Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. So uh, WNBA, November 11th, 2024. Uh, I got a couple plays, and I have a couple extra plays. What I'm going to start doing, I think, is give you the best plays I possibly think you're going to cash. And I'll just give you the rest of my plays. What I've been doing is giving you all my plays. It's more that I wanted to do this channel, the show, and try to teach people, help people how to sports bet, not exactly give my plays. But I think... Uh, Trying to get the subscriptions up there, so um, I'm going to give limited plays, and, uh, you know, because out of the plays, you know there's a few that you know are going to hit for the most part. But, uh, yeah, so first up, Devin Vassell, um, points over 13 and a half, and just came back last game, was off for a while, uh, had a great game. Uh, why this number is still low? He's still on a minutes restriction, I believe. Uh, but uh, he only played 21 minutes, had 21 points, a bunch of threes. Uh, I don't expect him to do that good, but the 13 and a half, I think, is just too low. And while it's low, we're going to jump on it until it gets, you know, where it's supposed to be. Uh, as you see, this is before he got hurt. He was out for a long time. Uh He's cleared this easily. It says he exceeded 13 and a half, 17 of his last 19 home games, averaging 20. They are playing uh, Sacramento, who just had overtime. They're on a back-to-back. -back. Spurs had a couple of days off, I think like a day or two. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, Devil the Self. Stamp of approval. All right, next up, uh, Kevin Huda, shooter, Huda shooter. Uh, he should be in the starting lineup. Uh, I did play him yesterday. I play him pretty often, but uh, starting lineup, 10 and a half points. I all lined it back. I think they got 11 and a half, 12. Um, I don't like playing people on a back to back, especially when they went to OT. But. Uh, Ten and a half is too low, especially if he's in the starting lineup. He had 17 last game. Um, had a bad game this game, but uh, for, the, for the most part, he's been cash. And they usually have his number at like around 10, nine and a half, ten. But uh, as you see, he played way more minutes. Um, it is saying he failed to exceed 11 and a half, five straight games versus top 10 defense. But uh, him being in the starting lineup, I think he's going to go over it. Uh, he does shoot threes, mostly a three shooter. Uh, he was obviously on last night, but uh, as long as he gets his normal like two threes, he does take a couple regular shots. And if he could get to the foul line, which as you see, he doesn't often. But uh, as long as he gets at least two threes, he should get a couple little layups or whatever and uh, go over this, especially if he's in the starting lineup. Um, a few injuries. I use another site, NBA lineups. Uh, I don't pay for it, so it's not like confirmed status. It's too early to be confirmed anyway. But uh, it just gives you an idea of the starting lineups, and they have him in there. Darren Fox, who to the Rose and Murray and Sabonis. Uh, projected points, 12 and a half. So, yeah, I'm jumping on it. Let's get it. All right, next up, uh, Norman Powell. Been playing great. Uh, all lined it back a little bit. Uh, over 19 and a half points. Uh, if you want to play it at better money, uh, 20, 21, I 
think he should go over. Uh, 19 and a half, minus 158 FanDuel. They got it at minus 180, minus 205, other books. Uh, if you spend more money, I, you know, I'm a key believer in alt line. And if you ever notice, the books are right on. We got to get it by a little, lose by a little. If you go all line it back one or two, you just give yourself a big advantage, especially if you're spending more money. Who cares about the little juice? It's better to cash than not cash. Hit this uh, 9 out of 10 this year. He was off a little bit last game, and he still easily went over it. Uh, he's been averaging three, four threes at least a game. Been playing really well. Like, I'm talking, I mean, last game he was off. But I'm talking all those shots before, every three didn't touch the rim. Right? He's been killing it. Now he's going against OKC. He got a good defense. But uh, he really stepped his game up. He's going to go over this. Norman Powell, let's get it. You're looking for something else. But, uh, yeah, so first up, Champagne rebounds over four and a half. We've uh, played this a couple times in the last week, week and a half. He's been uh, going over it. Eight out of ten so far this year. Uh, playing Sacramento is on a back-to-back, -back, so maybe they'll miss some shots. Get a little couple extra chances. Small forward position, ranked 16th to rebounds. Overall, ranked 12th. Was going to play uh, CP3. He owes me money. The last two games, uh, him playing like shit. Uh, his one and a half threes, but I didn't. Next up, Levert assists over three and a half. Cleveland at Chicago. Cleveland has been doing great. Uh, he's cleared his five games in a row, head to head, 100%. Chicago overall ranked 29th to assist. Shooting guard position, they're ranked 15th. Uh, I all lined it back. I always all line it back if I can. Next one would be Derrick Jones. He had a bad game. He got in foul trouble last game. Uh, his first year on the Clippers. Uh, all on the back, seven and a half. I'm comfortable at eight and a half. Uh, he's cleared this almost every time. Like I said, he got in foul trouble and he just had an off game. You could tell. Uh, KC does have a uh, OKC does have a good defense. But uh, I expect him to go over it. He usually hits around like 1 3. And uh, he'll get a couple lobs, uh, you know, some rebound putbacks. A couple threes, you know what I mean? But uh, it should go over it. Uh, the insight says he exceeded 8.5 and, and 9 of his last 11, averaging 10. Then. Uh, I went with Powell, his assists, over one and a half. This has been a good play. Uh, Norman Powell's been doing real well, scoring and shooting the ball well. He don't get many assists, but he's been going over one and a half. So when they offer it, I take it. Uh, it's been cashing. You know, the highest I'll go is minus 150. I only bet 35 a play. But uh, if you bet more money, easily all line it back. But uh, shit, bet three six five is plus one fifteen. DraftKings is minus one fifty. BetMGM minus one hundred five. That's why you gotta have multiple books. Get it, you know, it's an edge right there. He's been hitting the one and a half. Anything higher than one and a half, don't play. Uh, oh yeah, then Kevin Porter. Rebounds. I like rebounds and assists. If you can get it, they don't have it by me. But uh, over two and a half, 140 on uh, DraftKings. Uh, he's been getting assists too. OKC is ranked 30th in uh, rebounds allowed. To the shooting guard, ranked 28th. Uh, his assists, I think, a two and a half, too. Uh, 
He's been going over them. But so I like if you can get them together around six, five and a half, six, I would do that. Exceeded two and a half assists for his last five. Rebounds and assists, but they just don't have it on a book by me. And then last up, Ben Simmons. Uh, got him listed as a point guard. I'm not positive. Maybe let me know in the comments. Is he running point or is he a shooting guard? I know he's coming off the bench. Um, rebounds and assists, he's been doing really good. Uh, if you get it at nine and a half, obviously, that'd be great. But uh, playing the Pelicans. Overall, ranked 15th and 27th. The point guard, 17th and 29th. Shooting guard, 24th and 23rd. I'm not sure. But he's exceeded 11 and a half in seven straight games versus a bottom 10 defense. Yeah, so those are the other plays, but those first four plays, three plays, whatever they were, you know, I'm kind of guaranteeing now. I just wanted to give you some extra. Uh, if you already had something like that and you're looking for something else. But, uh, yeah, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's turn on the notifications where you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. Uh, give them to you. Uh, Ace money to name, get paper to game. Let's go.